Welcome everyone to the Vintage Showcase in March of 2021. So this is the second to last showcase for the Season 1 2021 mocks. Uh, looking for a top 8 in this event, which will qualify us for a showcase qualifier for the Season 1 2021 mocks, which would be, you know, a really good event to play in, a really good event to try to win. So, but first, what we need to do is we're going to play an eight round event today, and we need to top eight that event. What deck are we going to play? We're just running back PO. Um, last night, we played uh, Esper PO in a vintage octagon hosted by Team Lotus Box. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely go check that video out. Uh, should be the first one before this video. Uh, and it ran fairly well, and I also thought I played at a much higher level than I've been playing recently. I, I would say that recently my play across Vintage has been extremely subpar. Um, I don't think I've had a top 16 in a Vintage challenge in 2021 or, or, or since January or something insane. It's been like three months or two months since I've had a very good Vintage placing. Uh, though, the, though the Octagons have been going well, my actual challenges and showcases have been going extremely poorly. Um, and I don't think that is due entirely to me, but I do think it's due to my deck choice and my play and my mental. I think my mental has been quite off. Um, but last night, I felt like the deck was really strong, my play was really strong, um, and my mental was pretty good. So I, 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 although I do not think that PO is a super strong metagame choice for this event, I do feel like I can top 8 the event if I play my PO deck, so that's why we're doing it. Um, so you, you, if you've seen last night's video, you'll know about this deck list. If you've seen even the last PO video, you'll know about this deck list. This is my Esper PO build uh, in a creature-heavy metagame. So I'm expecting Bug to be very heavy, uh, very heavily played in this event. Uh, so playing a Source of Plowshares and a Balance in the main deck. And I think a Balance is a very main deckable card in any metagame from PO. But I think it's, it definitely shines when your opponents are, are casting creatures. So... Um, this is this is a very uh, not stock because no one else plays this, uh, but it's a very Justin PO build, uh, focusing in focusing he indexing heavily on Tinker Yogwill, uh, but having always having backdoor mentor, um, and then sideboarding pretty standard artifact hate creature hate. Uh, the the disenchant has been quite good against the variety of shops decks that are in the format, uh, and the deluge as a as actually having a sweeper. Versus the multiple creature hate bear deck. So like if someone plays multiple Archons, multiple Collector Roofs, uh, Deluge can hit both of them at the same time. And this is very, I think, very important to have in your sideboard for your PO deck right now. Um, yeah, it's kind of all I wanted to say before this event starts. The event's going to start in about a minute. And then uh, eight rounds of magic is incoming. All right, welcome. This is round one of eight. Vintage showcase time. We're playing against Theo. I'm actually not sure what Theo's been up to recently. I don't know if Theo's been playing uh, Breach or Doomsday. We'll have to find out. Let's see. That's a hell of a way to start a tournament. I can't tinker into Citadel. Uh, but I don't think I'm allowed to be mulliganing an Ancestral Hand like this. So definitely going to keep it. Um, this tinker's probably just getting pitched to Force of Will. And I'm looking for uh, Upkeep Island Ancestral here. Play around a Wasteland deck. And play around negation. Okay, now we have double force of will. We didn't draw any lands or any moxen. Oh, maybe it's just bug. Interesting. Um. Hmm. It's aggressive, but I don't even hate forcing this. We're, we're, we have a very high chance of overdrawing on our next turn. We're going to have nine cards if we don't hit a land. And even if we hit a land, I really want to cast Night's Whisper. I'm going to force this Pitching Tinker. It's a little aggressive, but I think that's where we're at in this game, especially seeing as we're missing land drops. I'm looking for a fetch land here. Unfortunate. Uh, I still have seven, so I guess we'll just pass. I didn't expect us to go Ancestral into no Moxin and no um, uh, 
no lands. Thank you, True Hero, for the raid with the 27. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, good luck in any events you're playing this weekend. Look, just looking for a fetch land. Okay, that works. Uh, question becomes, am I going to try to resolve a Narset? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I'm going to resolve a Night's Whisper. It's unfortunate we don't have a Moxen or a land because we would just hard cast Citadel. And I guess there's some argument to holding on to the Lotus to do something like that, but I, I think that would be greedy. We, of course, would have hit it, but we're actually... We're pretty still, we're still pretty close. Uh, a fetch land for a Citadel would do the trick. I also have hard cast Force of Will. Special land for Underground Sea. I, I, I feel like this game went very poorly for us, unfortunately. Um, I don't really know if I could have played it super differently, besides maybe holding this Lotus. Eo's a good draw, though. Definitely not casting this now. Uh, looking for, like, an end step uh, PO. Definitely not jamming Narset. I think Narset is quite poor against D Bug, and I would rather be pitching it. Holding open all of their mana. I actually think that jamming a PO here would be incorrect. It's quite poor against uh, both Force of Vigor and Flusterstorm. I don't like it very much. I would rather look for other opportunities. If I find, like, even a <laughs> I just want, um... Hmm. I actually think that's pretty good. The problem with this is I can't follow up with anything good. Hmm. Like if they were to hard cast Force of Vigor in response, I think it would be quite bad for us. So I'm going to pass again. I do think that this balance is actually quite strong, killing three lands, and it's a must-force target. Opposition agent. Interesting. Okay, it resolves. Don't think I care. I'm definitely casting PO end of turn here. Uh, if it gets flustered, it gets flustered. I, I don't think I have a choice at this point. I think I'm pretty far behind. Um, I expect this to be flusterstormed. Oh, hard cast negationed. Okay, I'll force this. If they fluster back up, that's fine. If not, we have a PO. Okay, sure. Now our balance is obviously a lot worse. I do think we're going to cast a balance here, though, uh, so that we can actually use our fetch lands. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I, did I misplay here? No, I didn't have the mana. Two lands and an opposition agent is perfectly reasonable here. I don't think they still have Flusterstorm or they would have countered PO. Of course, this is not, you know, affecting hand size anymore, but it's still two, uh, two lands and an opposition agent, so I think it's pretty reasonable. And now next turn we have Hardcast Citadel with 11 life to use. Not bad. We could get oofed though. Leovolm? Sure. Um, it's going to be tough because we can't draw anything. Do I not have enough? Op, but I can't draw with top, so I just lose a life. Uh, just gets misstepped. Am I actually allowed to misstep this back? I go to eight. I think so. 
I think being able to spin with this top may be important. I do need to find exactly Swords to Plowshares or Yogwill. I guess Snapcaster, depending on my mana situation. Okay, that's a really strong draw. Snapcaster, uh, that's going to do it, right? Snap Balance? No, Snap Balance does not do it. Huh. I actually have nothing to snap. I guess what we should do, one, two, three, four, five, is... Hmm. I think we just play a Snapcaster and target Ancestral. But we don't actually cast the Ancestral. The problem with playing a Snapcaster is we have lost our Yogwill balance out. Which is extremely problematic. Because now we only have then we would only have demonic. So maybe we need to snap targeting PO. So we could pick it up if we need to. Oh, I drew a repeal, but I can't draw the repeal. So this doesn't fucking do anything. I could just wait though. I could just wait and then repeal on the next turn. Hmm. Can't repeal Snapcaster Mage Chat. It's literally X is zero. I can do it on the end of next turn, though. Which I think is a play that I'm going to make. Well, maybe I'm supposed to spin first. Uh, never mind. That'll work. Jesus Christ, Justin. Insane. Maybe if I had spun first, this would have gone a lot better. I have four light. Okay, it's okay though. I have top to draw into this. Make this man oh, attack first. I think we're good here. Just need to find Yogwill. Make this mana. Draw with top. Cast top. Uh, make black. Make white mana. Activate top one, two, three, four, five, plus one. Uh, didn't hit any mocks in there. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to cast that. I have a repeal in my yard, right? So I can cast that.
All right, that should be game. All right, now I cast Black Lotus. I cast Mox Opal. Uh, I cast Repeal. Oh, let's just cast uh, Demonic first. Demonic. Oh, hold on. What's my mana look like here? Yeah, I think this is fine. White mana, black mana, demonic, mentor. What's this? This. Time walk. I shall repeal my mana crypt. Wow, that was kind of close, actually. Do I get to see the hand? Sweet. Leovold, Oko, Demonic, Ponder. Sure. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nine cards left in my library. All right. So, Bug, Main Deck Opposition Agent. Looking at Swords, Blightsteel, Deluge, Caracas, uh, possible Flusterstorm. Yeah, that was game one. Uh, looking at Opal, Top, Hercules Recall, Narset. And hold on, quick Justin Inception. Pop, Opal, I right, kept the Fluster Storm, okay. All right, Narset, Top, Opal, Recall out, Swords, Blightsteel, Deluge, Caracas in. Submit. I think a bug was a decent bug was a pretty decent choice for this weekend, so definitely within Theo's range as well. How many other events are, are they playing in? I don't know what the command is. At least one other showcase, right? This hand is acceptable. Their turn? No. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look for a Tinker line, I think. 
So I guess what I should really do is just probe now. Bluster, Force, Cruise, Veil, Wasteland. It does make things more challenging. I don't actually have good vamps anymore. It's kind of impossible for me to protect anything. Might just brainstorm. Interesting. I think this means I'm going to upkeep vamp for, I have no idea, island maybe, fetch land. I think ancestral is pretty poor. What I really need is blue mana sources that don't get wastelanded. Maybe the answer is actually just sapphire. I think I'm pitching one Flusterstorm. I think Academy would be a poor idea against the Wasteland. Mm. Can I resolve a Mentor? No. I can't resolve anything. I don't want to vamp end of turn. Well, vamping end of turn gets the fluster storm. And then I can balance. But my draws are a deluge fluster storm, but I have an active PO. Actually, I can go for a vamp end of turn. If they choose to fluster this, I think it's okay. Yeah, they, they actually can't afford to fluster that, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, I just want to hit Sapphire here. I, th I think I'm just going Sapphire here. So currently, the storm count will be three... So they can, they can fluster for four, right? That's how that works. Yeah, so we don't want to balance right now. But I can look at end of turn PO. Hmm. Maybe it's just not. Maybe it's not end of turn PO. It's just untap balance. Opponent has a very awkward hand where they have a bunch of uncastable cards in it. <laughs> they drew another wasteland. I could also lose my island. Let's think about this. Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to PO here though, because I would just get fluster stormed. If I fluster stormed back, they would just pay. Let's just go for a balance here. They lose two cards in hand and two wastelands, which is fine. Deathrite Shaman Veil. All right, so they have a Fluster Cruise Force, but I think that's okay for me. I floated blue in case they wasteland their underground sea. Oh, this is great. This is insane. This is so good. Uh, do I play around them drawing another Wasteland? 
I don't th I think I am because I don't think I'm ever casting PO end of turn here. I just wait till my next turn and then play PO and win. Oh, now I just win. Okay, cool. GG's opponent. This gets forced. I fluster. I think opponent's hands were quite bad. To be fair, I think they were very below average. Uh, whoa, bug hands. Though, to be fair, Cho, if, if, if Bug is going to be the predominant metagame call, I do think the PO matchup is pretty reasonable if you build your deck to beat it. Like, I, am, I would always, always, always rather play versus Bug than play versus Pyroblast. Every time. I think Collector Roof is much, much more manageable for PO than Pyroblast is. Okay, here we are, round two, Vintage Showcase versus fellow streamer Yama Killer. A solid time walk hand, looking for another Moxin and a PO, but not a bad start. Uh, definitely a keep. Especially on the draw with the pro, we have some good looks. Let's battle. Let's see what Yama is up to. Yama has a pretty lar large range. Could be anything, so it's going to be combo shops. Okay, we have a decent combo shops hand. Ooh, that is a lot of, that's a lot of fast mana. Five mana on turn one, no play. That makes me think a 2020 is coming. Uh, almost assuredly, that makes me think a 2020 is coming. Let's take a quick peek, find out. Yes, 2020 on the next turn. Uh, we have Demonic. Oh, now we have Tinker. Okay. So... Hmm, what's the best way to play this? So, Demonic... For Lotus, no, that doesn't do it. Demonic for Mana Crypt, Time Walk, Tinker. I think that's the best way to play this. We could just Time Walk to start, but... Demonic. I guess maybe Mana Crypt is worse than just getting Sapphire. Sapphire, Opal, Tinker, the Opal. I could also snap walk if needed. So maybe that was a decent reason to mana crypt. Now that should be game, right? Demonic. Off of Opal. Or Tinker off of Opal. Bolus is Citadel. Miss. Uh, mystical. Yogwill. Cast Jogwell. Probe. Ruby. Soul Ring. Opal. Eo.
ancestral this 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 uh, demonic mentor mentor time walk That turn one kill. Yeah, nice turn one kill. Tinker's fucked. <laughs> Tinker, Tinker is ridiculous. Why does that exist? <laughs> yeah that's what he told me he said i went to go microwave a burrito <laughs> all right so uh blight steel disenchant and hercules and caracas we have a lot we're this is a very good matchup i think um Balance, Fluster, Fluster, Misstep, um, I think this matchup is quite good for us, I don't know what Slasher thinks, but, just take out Narset, and, I don't know, Night's Whisper maybe, Probe, But we have two repeals and a Caracas to do, deal with 2020s. Disenchant to deal with anything. And then a bunch of Hercules recalls that are not fantastic, but they're fine. And then we have Tinker. So, yeah, this matchup is quite, quite good for us. How do I chalice for one with tribal out? Tribal? What is a tribal? Oh, a three ball. I have no idea. Uh, you should just be able to play three mana, I think. And, oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe someone in chat can help. I don't do that very much. Uh, this hand's fine. Multiple counter spells. Okay. Six card hand with a ley line. Chalice on zero. I think I have to force that. Workshop pass. Island ruby pass. I do need a little help here. Like a mana crypt's a good draw. Strip mine is a yikes from me. Uh, that's fine. This is basically just time walking my opponent. Uh, I'm worried that if my opponent strip mines my snow covered and then plays a dark depths and makes a 2020, that I'd be in bad shape. They could have chosen to turn it into a strip mine for a turn. 
uh, that would have also worked. But this way, I think I am just going to force this on its way back down as I just have nothing going for me. Though it does make my, uh, my other P, you know, it makes my PO worse, but not thrilled with how this game is going. So they did have the 2020, but I think the way we played it was mm, okay, but not great. Opal's a great draw. So is Lotus. Um, they don't have hardcast trap up. I think I am just going to pee. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. I think PO for two is bad. I think I'm going to wait. Could get uh, sphered, which would be upsetting. But I think that's fine. Opponent could also have helm now. Not good. Time walk. All right, that's a good enough reason. Uh, what I'm going to do is time walk as my second spell. Don't didn't hit a fetch land, so I can't actually go for vamp, which is a not ideal. I also lose my lotus to ley line, so I can't play the citadel. Okay. That's not bad draw, but it is problematic if they have land helm. Actually, I don't even need land. They just need helm. Not much I could do about a helm at that point. Uh, but now I have Tinker Blight Steel. I think that's the best play. Unfortunately, I drew Citadel. See if they have it. Top deck helm. Top deck stage is not terrible, but looks like they had all mana. Ley line. Yeah. Wow. Pretty unlucky from Yama's side, it looks like. But very, I, I think this matchup is a hard one for Yama as well, so. Round three, Vintage Challenge. We're playing against Bryant Cook. Very likely to be Underworld Breach PO. Uh, that's a tough matchup for us. Let's see what we can do here. We played against Bug in round one and Combo Shops in round two. So it looks like Underworld Breach Luris PO. Uh, this hand's fine. Definitely a keep. I'm going to lead on Ponder uh, instead of Mana Vault. Am I going to lead on... Yeah, I'm going to lead on Ponder so that we can have the opportunity to draw a uh, a Moxon. And then I'm going to go for lands because I don't think that they are going to... Uh, Non-basic lands because I don't think they have wastelands. So I'm going to go like this, like this, draw this, and then we'll fetch away the Hercules Recall. Um, And then we might be just POing for two on our next turn. Depends on what our opponent chooses to do. If they tap out for like a ponder or a preordain, might be worth doing. Hmm, Underworld. Or oh, sorry, uh, Nice Whisperer. Uh, so we definitely are we're drawing a fetch land here, uh, which is unfortunate, but I think it's fine. We definitely want to fetch away the Hercules. Definitely don't want a Hercules. And then I think I'm just going to jam PO for two. I should have left white mana floating. If this gets forced, I don't think I would care very much. Let's 
So I think I'm just going to pass with all of my open mana and maybe end of turn brainstorm. Hmm. Played a non-basic and then played Brainstorm. That's interesting. Um, heavily representing a Pyroblast or a Flusterstorm. Normally, you would just play this Brainstorm, and then if you draw a fetch land, you don't want to play your land. If opponent leaves, like, um, a Ruby or a Sapphire, I might repeal it. End of turn. It's also a line worth taking. Okay, so definitely Underworld Breach PO. Definitely with a Flusterstorm or, oh, Jesus Christ, a Remora. Wow. Kind of think I have to force it. Maybe I should just brainstorm in response. I can repeal, I'm aware. I think I'm gonna brainstorm in response, because that was the plan anyways. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. I can even pay for some of these spells. I think he has a Pyroblast. Now the question is, what are we doing now? Pass? Pass. I want to hold up force. I want to hold up and repeal. Uh, if nothing crazy happens at the end of our next of their next turn, I will repeal paying the mana on the remora. Um. I'd like them to sink a mana into this at the very least or go for a PO. Let's see if they PO on upkeep. I don't think they would. I feel like they would pay. Caracas main. So this is a very heavy Luris version. Uh, Merchant Scroll for Ancestral. If they Ancestral here, I'm very likely to force pay. No, I'm not. What am I going to do? Hard cast force? How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Maybe I'll just, uh, I don't want to repeal this though. Maybe this is just resolving and then I'm end of turn going for repeal on Remora and paying. 
I think that's the case. Okay. Okay. See if this gets pyroblasted. Looks like it will. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. <sighs> Scroll and pay. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to win if we pass the turn here. Maybe the best play is just scroll, no pay, PO, no pay. I don't even have force backup though. It doesn't really do anything. Maybe it's just scroll and pay and get an ancestral. I just think we're going to lose the turn if we pass. They have basically infinite mana and a top to use. The problem is they actually hit a pedal off that Ancestral, so they have a second Pyroblast or Fluster Storm. Maybe it's just Merchant and Pay. Maybe it's just merchant and no pay. Eh, it's a little hard to say. What's the likelihood I can get lethal off of two monks here? I would have to cast six more spells. Makes me feel like I shouldn't have even paid the first time. If I Hercules myself, I get one spell, two spell, three spell, four spell. Not close enough. I think I am just going to get an Ancestral and attack. And hope they don't have a, a lethal play. I think getting six spells is basically impossible. Maybe I should have forced the Pyroblast, but then I would have no action. So if they have a PO here, they might cast it. Looks like they have a PO here. So now the question becomes, am I forcing the PO or am I ancestral and then forcing the PO? And in both cases, am I ever going to win? <laughs> Probably not. 
Maybe I should have forced Ancestral. Pyroblast is just too good. I certainly can't win if this resolves. Opponent gets to draw two cards that way. And they know the two cards they're drawing. And they can't draw a Fluster or a Pyroblast. I feel like it's correct though. They just had force. All right, F6. You got it, homie. I don't really think we could have played that game much better. I think opponent's draw was just better. I could have forced the... I could have forced the Pyroblast on repeal. That was like the only thing I could have changed. I don't think that would have won. So I could have opted to Merchant Scroll without paying and then Ancestral without paying. That might have worked, but it seems incredibly risky. Basically lost the Pyroblast, as is the as we are uh, liable to do. I mean, we didn't. I don't think I, Remora definitely stopped. Was good there. Definitely stopped us from like just trying to go Merchant Ancestral. But even if there was no Remora, I'm not really convinced we were going to win that game, anyways. All right, so I'm going to bring in a cam ball and a fluster storm and soul guide lanterns. And I'm going to take out Swords, Balance, Hercules, and Mystical Tutor. And Island. Submit. Pyroblast 2 OP. Oops. This enchant might be reasonable. I mean, we have a good sideboard here. Lanterns, Camballs, Fluster Storm are all very powerful cards in the matchup. Looks like they kept Luris. Uh, yeah, that's a hand I'm willing to keep. Question does become what am I doing? 
Vamping for... Vamp for Lotus? No. Vamp for Mana Crypt and go Knight's Whisper PO. I think Vamp Tinker is a mistake. If they want to fluster my Vamp, that would be fine. This is not actually a Tinker matchup because of Fluster and Pyro. But if they want to fluster this, I don't care. I'm just going to follow up by going Land Whisper instead. I think they definitely have Fluster. I think Crypt actually is the best play here. It's going to turn on my PO and let me have really good options. No, I think you want to save your colored sources. And then they just don't do anything on their turn. I don't actually think I'm going to PO uh, into like a Flusterstorm or a Pyroblast that, uh, on this next turn either. I think that they have a Flusterstorm. They have a Soul Ring in their deck. Interesting. Uh, kind of just looking for a Flusterstorm to protect, I think. Even though I don't know if a Flusterstorm actually protects. Uh, black, black, black? Okay. Now I wish I had PO'd. Lost the flip as per usual. Uh, no, this is fine. They have to have force. They can't have Pyroblast or Fluster here. Nice. They can have Misstep, though. Hey, I'm at 12 as well. They can have a Braid. I don't think I'm ever going to cast a PO on this turn, but it does mean like maybe I shouldn't have played my Crypt. Question will become how many times am I allowed to lose life here? Hmm.
Uh, what am I supposed to do? I know they have a fluster. I just am worried that I'm going to fuck this up, but I guess I can't be worried. I guess I just have to do my thing. Ah, uh, brain freeze. Okay. I have that beat. Okay. Sweet. Woo! Brain freeze, baby. Okay. Game three. Game three. So they didn't... I guess they probably... Yeah, I think that's a good play by them. I I mean, I'm not going to fuck that up. That one's a lot easier than Fluster Storm, Fluster Storm. I just have to keep, click each copy. And then even if I fuck up, I have another Fluster. So it's very easy. Um, We didn't show them any tech, right? We showed that we did not show them Disenchant. I mean, they probably see from my Twitter. So there's probably no point in hiding any tech. Anyways. All right, game three. The Hardcast Citadel is very fun because it's just doesn't get countered by Fluster, doesn't get countered by Pyroblast, which makes it quite good if you can cast it. They do have Caracas in the main deck. I wonder if Cambal is still worthwhile inclusion. Probably is. Um, it, obviously, it, it's very good against Cambal. I think a, a cam ball that gets hit by a Caracas is still better than any of these cards. How's everybody doing today? A lot of people showed up today. Everyone loves watching high stakes vintage, huh? No, because it's very hard to cast. Um, it's, it's very, very difficult card to cast. Oh, this hand sucks. This hand blows. <laughs> Just all dead cards. Opponent mulligan. I will mulligan. Uh, this hand is playable, but very risky hand. Uh, the question will be, what am I keeping? Because I do want to keep blue card force. I want to keep fluster. I need to keep mana crypt. Huh. This is a challenging mulligan because I don't, I want, I think I'm going for a tinker and just hoping it works. I guess maybe what I can do is just put away the snapcaster and just go for the tinker and just go for tinker force back up. I'm not going to have likely be able to fluster anyways. This is a, a recipe for disaster. Uh, it's not the kind of hand you want to keep versus a pyroblast deck but i also just don't think i am allowed to mulligan such a clear turn two tinker ponder top sure This hand does get better on my on my opponent's mulligan as well. Tops are really good. It's going to make the tinker better. Uh, a question becomes, am I vamping now? No. End of turn vamping. <sighs> Academy. All right, I will I will make, let them uh, choose to go for this if they want. They hesitated a really long time last time I cast Vamp. I wonder if they'll change their mind and try countering the Vamp this time. They chose not to. Other choices include Ancestral Recall with Flusterstorm backup. 
Uh, Monastery Mentor. Not terrible choice either. Or Tinker with a top and force backup. Have to dodge Flusterstorm. Ugh, it just seems like a very poor play. I almost like Mentor better. Campball is not good enough because, one, I don't have the mana to cast it next turn, and two, they have a Caracas in their deck. I actually think a Mentor is a significantly... I think it's better than a Tinker here. I'm going to try Mentor chat. It's a little risky, but I'm going to try Mentor. So this plays around Fluster and um, Pyroblast, which is the reason we're doing it. We also have a top, which is going to make it two spell, at least a spell every turn. I think this is uh, very easily a spot where a, a novice PO player may make the wrong vamp and lose the game. And I could still lose this game very easily to a powerful breach play or PO play, uh, but I think it is worth doing. So one of the things we're going to do is next turn on our upkeep, we're going to activate top and draw it so that we can always play it. Sure. Block is increased. So here on our upkeep, we're not going to spin. We're just going to activate our Sensei's top. And then we're going to... That's a good draw, I think. So spell gives us a bunch of mana. I do think that playing a top here is better than holding open hardcast force. And now we're looking at lethal next turn. So this went very well. Opponent may force this. I think I would let that resolve if they were choosing to force this. The problem with letting the problem with this resolving for my opponent is I can do the same play next turn and it is four damage uh, onto the additional uh, five, so nine damage, and opponent's already taking seven down to nine. So this represents lethal. They had a mental misstep. Interesting. Uh, that's very annoying, but I don't believe I'm allowed. I could fluster this actually. Flustering this is an extra two damage this turn. And we will have a top that we could spin into, a blue card, for our force. Currently, they take 7 down to 7, and we only have 5 damage in play. So, I actually think that's worthwhile. Because this is actually going to make uh, lethal no matter what. So my opponent no longer cares about this top. They're going to let it resolve, uh, and they're going to try to win the game on their turn. We still have a, uh, uh, the ability to spin and find flusters or, for, or blue cards for forces. Uh, yeah. Nine down to six. Sorry, down to five. There's some possibility that we could draw into three spells here, but I, I think that would be pretty low. So I like the way we played this. They have a spin, they have three mana, four cards in hand. See if they can't put together a winning play through a possible force.
I think uh, we played this game very well, which is nice. The vamping for Mentor was not the straightforward line, but I think the best line. Oh, for sure. For sure. This is, uh, the thing is, I think Bryant kept a six card hand that was very interactive with Flusterstorms and Pyroblasts, and we ended up having a Mentor draw. Though it's possible my opponent could have countered my Vampiric Tutor in both games and chose not to, which is something to think about. I don't know what the right answer is, but it's something to think about. So they could have a PO for three here. I would definitely look to force it if that was the case. Uh, they could have like Demonic for Lotus, Lotus Breach, Demonic. That would probably do it. Uh, at that point, they probably would have double Pyrobla a Pyroblast backup as well. They could definitely win through there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think there's a ton of ways that Breach can kill from here. I don't think it's a straightforward. I think just Demonic would do it. No, maybe not just Demonic. It would be maybe two cards of the three cards. Blue, blue, white, PO for two. Um, I think we're supposed to force this, even if they have a Pyroblast. We can also look for a Fluster. I think I'm going to force this. There's the Pyroblast that we definitely thought they had. And they're going to draw three cards and they have to win with no mana and three cards. Good sign. Nice. Ooh, baby. That's a tough matchup. That's a tough, tough matchup. Tough matchup. All right, I gotta record. Here we go. Round four, 3 0, Vintage Showcase, playing PO. I think we've found another Pyroblast player. Slipporn is telling me Scab Clan Berserkers are incoming in chat, and I do believe they played Blue Red Moon the last time we played. So that's a bad sign. Oh, what? That is, that, is, that is a hand of Magic the Gathering cards, is it not? I would like to keep this hand. Now, the question becomes do we care about negation? Two negations in their Blood Moon deck. God damn it. I have to play around negation. Uh, I, I just have to. I just have to play around negation. This is likely their deck. Four Arcanist, three DAC, three Bolt, three Pyro. Days, two negation, four Will, two Blood Moon. Very likely it's similar to whatever they're playing today. Uh, I just ruined my GeoGuessr size. This is making me sad. Hopefully that goes back to the way I want it. Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to play it on turn one, chat. I think that would be a misplay. I think I have to play it on their upkeep.
if it was any other player, I think I would play it on my turn. But I because they have two negations in their deck, two is so many negations, by the way. I think because they have two negations, I, I have to. All right, I played no permanence on turn one. Okay. Well, I drew uh, <laughs> I drew three lands and a mox. So, that's cool. I do now wish I <laughs> I wish I was on there my turn so I could have played one of these lands, but. Uh, live and let die. Wastelands? No. I told him I'd trade them mana for sheep. Ancestral? Oh. Pass. I feel like Ancestral. Yeah, I thought so. Huh. You got it, homie. I kind of need to do draw. I do need to draw a mentor, don't I? This game sucks. <laughs> uh, shite. I have to use this delta and fetch an island so that I can play around Blood Moon, don't I? I guess I don't need to. I have two islands and a swamp. I think I'm just passing after I play all my shit out. That way I have hard cast force and repeal. Drawing four on turn one and being unfavored to win the game is not something I intended, but I guess this is what happened. <laughs> I, I didn't think that was actually a thing that could happen, but yeah, it did. <laughs> Yikes. P.O. and air. Name. Ready for a surprise. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Oh god, they're on Doomsday? Oh. Huh. They tricked me. That's bad. That's really bad. I can tell you right now, that is that is bad for me. I I I am I am in trouble. I I feel the danger. Um This is bad. They're casting dig through time here. They got rid of their Ancestral. I'm letting this resolve. I think we're dead, by the way. I think we cast Pio on turn one, drew four cards, and are, and are like 10% to win the game. <laughs> I, I think we are extremely dead. Could still win. Hmm. 
They did get rid of Ancestral and Lotus. That is interesting. I don't know if I would have done that. If they cast Doomsday, I'm letting it resolve. Sure. Oh, you're, they're going for um, Thassa plus Demonic with Force Backup. Yep, we're dead. Wait, wait, what if I bounce the... Mm, that would still not work, right? Because it's going to be zero. Hmm. What can I draw here? I can draw Fluster. But I won't have any mana. Still better. No, no. I think that they have force of will. So I guess mental misstep would give us two forces. I don't I think I need to draw one of my two fluster storms. They're going to force it? So they have days? Or a second force, maybe? They pitched a days. They know I have a force in hand, right? From probe on turn one? So I assume we can't win from here. If we had drawn a blue card, maybe. They don't know what this card is. If we had drawn a blue card, we might have won this game, but we just drew fucking five lands. <laughs> uh... If we had cast PO on our upkeep, we would have had one more land in play, and we also would have won on our turn. If we had cast PO on our turn, we also would have won because we would have had one more land. That's pretty tilting. All right, I like Camball, and I like Fluster, and sometimes I like Lantern, but not very much. But Swords, Balance, Hercules, and nothing else. So I get, oh, and Island. So yeah, I guess Lanterns are coming in. I don't know what, oh, I don't, I don't care. I don't think opponent took the most optimal line, but I think we were so far behind that it didn't matter. Maybe we should have just PO'd on our turn. Maybe that was just too... I, I mean, I expected to draw spells off of my draw four. I didn't really draw spells. I drew three lands and a mox. So I don't know if it's really that big a deal. To be fair, if I, I do think if I had drawn a blue card there, we might have won. Or even played the land on turn one. I don't know. It seems like that was just some pretty low variance, but it's really hard to win two post-board games against Doomsday, so I'm not really convinced that we're going to have too, too much of a shot here, but we'll give it our best. Uh, sure, that's a good hand. Unfortunately, I have to play into Mind Break Trap with this hand. Uh, I don't actually have a choice because of the way my mana is situated. Question now becomes, what are we tutoring for? Tinker? Camball? Mana Crypt? 
Ancestral Recall. Narset. Ooh, what about Narset? Kind of like Narset. Not Mentor. Mentor's too slow. Camball is the only creature I could tutor for here. The problem is, Narset is getting countered by all the same things that Tinker is getting countered by, and Tinker is more likely to win us the game, right? Theoretically. So, but the, but the problem with Tinker is if Tinker does get countered, I do lose one of my, uh, my Moxin, and I'm farther away from Pio. So. I'm looking at Narset, and I'm looking at Camball. But I have to think to myself, how many times is Camball good enough to stop Doomsday? No, I think Academy is bad. Uh, I'm, Nar I'm on Narsa and Camball right now, because I think Narsa is the best non-creature. Uh, and I, th I mean, Ancestral is, I, I guess, a reasonable non-creature as well. But Narsa is going to be better than Ancestral because it's going to stop them from doing anything and it's going to find us action. We're currently action light. We're also mana light in terms of PO. The one thing I'm thinking is like, can we win if we just play a cam ball? Is, is a turn one cam ball good enough to beat Doomsday? And I don't think so. I don't think the answer is typically yes. I think a cam ball backed up by a force of will is usually good enough. Um, but I think a blank Camball is probably not. I'm going to go Narset. <laughs> Nothing. Beautiful. Force. Opal. Mystical Tutor. I think... I think it's better if I go Opal Soul Guide Lantern than Mystical Tutor. Narset Resolving is very good for us as Doomsday doesn't do anything if there's a Narset in play. All right, cool. All roads probably lead to victory there, but Tinker has the RNG thing going on. Again, another one. Another one. All right, on the draw versus Doomsday, game three. Not easy. That's a fucking hand though. Yep, snap it off. This is the plan. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Plays around days. They play preordain. We don't have to worry about fluster. Preordain, preordain, preordain. Let's go. Come on, preordain, 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 preordain. I'm looking for a preordain. Not a duress. Not a duress. Preordain, please. Update watch software. What was that? Check my phone. Oh, they're going turn one doomsday. That's fine. Unless they duress me. It down though. I mean, our last PO for four on turn one gave us nothing. So this is by no means a guaranteed victory here. Um, but I think I like where we're at. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we have the time to do such a thing.
I don't think it matters what their pile is, though. Or what their cards are. All right, chat. Nine cards are missing from our opponent's doomsday deck. We don't pad time. Nine cards are missing from our opponent's deck. Black Lotus. Not Ancestral Recall. Interesting. One, two, three... Black Lotus. Negation is gone. One Force of Will. Two, three, four Force of Will. All the Force of Wills are gone. Ancestral is gone. Time Walk is gone. Gush. Days. Looks like two dazes. One or two dazes. Days. Gush. Uh, how many Thassa's Oracles? Two Oracles? Oracle, Oracle. Uh, one, two Street Wraith. So probably at least one Street Wraith. Maybe two Street Wraiths. They play four Street Wraiths right now. I feel like they play four Street Wraiths right now. Uh, no, Probe is there. One fluster, one trap, two fluster, maybe a fluster. Sapphire jet, lotus missing. Uh, let's count underground seas. One underground sea, two underground sea. There are two underground seas missing. There shouldn't be a second negation. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fetches. Oh, there's one C because there's a C in play. I'm just going to go look at a doomsday list. Looking at two, four, six, eight fetches. Wait, I, I counted nine. Whatever. All the fetches are probably gone. This is probably pretty close. What about days? Is one days, two days? There's probably no days is either. Huh. Okay, so our, our, our PO is resolving. Oh, we do it for four? Oh, I should have played around a third days. Fuck me. I may have threw that game right there. They, most people play two dazes, but I should have played around a third days. There was no reason not to play around a third days. Fuck. All right, we're safe. I don't think they have a third days, but... I mean, we're still going to be able to PO. It's just this one lets me PO. Uh, I mean, they could have Mind Break Trap as well. Second Mind Break Trap, maybe. No. Okay. Narset is like insanity here. I think this game is very over. Opponent kept a pretty solid hand, but not enough counter magic. I'm gonna Knight's Whisper first. Citadel. That's interesting. Did I accidentally leave white floating instead of black? Yes, I should definitely have left black floating. I 
I still have double blue off of lands, so we can just play Citadel here. Yes, I should definitely have left black floating. I, I played it too fast. I agree. We're going to win this game, though, so it is no big deal. I played this whole turn too fast, by the way. It was not very good on my part. Uh, but I, I got, I got, I just got, I got caught in the, uh, in the excitement, I think, which can happen. Magic is a mental game, and my mental is not that good. They did have days. Holy shit! They had days. They had three dayses. They could have dazed my mana crypt. Wow. Ah, uh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I didn't even count DT and ponder. I did a shitty job of counting chat. <laughs> I did a shitty job of counting cards. I can tell you that much. Oh, I don't think they can win on the next turn because they won't be able to gush. Well, maybe they can ponder into... I don't, I, it's really hard for them. But, yeah. I should have held priority there. Um, I'll play this land. Crack this land. I played like shit, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Recording. Okay. Here we are. Round five. Vintage showcase. We're 4-0. We got a quite a bad pairing here. We paired into probably the only Jeskai player in the tournament. Um, but I know that Brosader Senpai Blank is always on Jeskai. They also send me um, their data through the rounds uh, so that I can put that into the data sheet at the end of the tournament. So uh, I do know they're on Jeskai. They know we're on PO. Oh, this is definitely not a hand that you can keep in the Jeskai matchup. So we're going to look for something better. This hand is reasonable, though. Uh, definitely keeping this one. Hercules is bad. We're looking at Merchant Scroll for Ancestral. Maybe Time Walk first to try to get Merchant Scroll Ancestral on the same turn. Though they are holding up Ancestral Pyroblast Flusterstorm. Let's see if there's an Ancestral on our upkeep. No Ancestral on our upkeep. I think the thing that I want to do here is cast Time Walk. Uh, yeah. I just play so much better with it, Kane. Like, I think I play, like, tiers above my normal level of play by playing this deck, so. Looking for a mana. Nice. Uh, this could just get Pyroblasted, but I think that would be fine. Hopefully it does not get Pyroblasted so that I can get an Ancestral in my yard for when I Yogg will, but it looks like it's just going to get Pyroblasted, which I think is okay because we'll look for like a Mystical Tutor at the end of their turn. Uh, I do think Mystical Tutor at the end of their turn is the best line here. Uh, and then we're going to go for a Tinker very likely. I hope they just tap out for like a Dreadhorde Arcanist and then we'll just go for a Tinker. Okay, they did not tap out. So I wonder if this is also going to get countered. Maybe if they're going to leave open everything, maybe we want to just go for a Ancestral Recall. Probably just want to get an Ancestral Recall.
All right, I'm going to not play my top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Ancestral on their upkeep. Uh, that way I can beat Flusterstorm. It's a little aggressive. You could always wait a little longer, but I think it's fine with the way Yawgwill is currently situated. They just had double Pyroblast. That is a very classic Jeskai matchup, isn't it? Having opening double Pyroblast off of no preordains is very unfortunate. Gosh, sure. My deck is very weak against Pyroblast. Can I get some I Am Act Blasts in chat? Are there, are there any I Am Act Blasts in chat? I just kind of want to see that. <laughs> Ooh, Dak Faden. Drew it, draw it. They always, oh, Mentor. Okay. They're tapped out. This is the time. A Black Lotus off the top is quite good. Can I get a Black Lotus off the top? Night's Whisper. So I can either Yog Will get a fetch land and cast an ancestral recall or i can just cast knight's whisper and try to continue from there i think knight's whisper is slightly better as we do have a time walk in our yard that i'd really like to cast opponent opponent could also just still have force of will they've cast no preordains this game but maybe it doesn't matter i think knight's whisper is just better balance wow could be very good next turn. Unfortunately, I fetched double C, but I think fetching double C was correct. Uh, I'm not going to spin until their turn, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to resolve a balance, but I would love to. No spells. No attack. Well, that's probably a mistake. Narset Mox Opal. So this means, oh, wow, I have tons of choices here. I think what I want to do is just go Opal, Balance, Yogwill. probably. They probably have hard cast negation, right? So maybe we want Opal, Balance, and then keep the Flusterstorm underneath so that we can draw into our Flusterstorm and, current and balance away their board. I guess the balance is just hitting Mentor plus three cards. So it would be Mentor plus two cards after Fluster. Not the strongest, but I think it's probably what we want to be doing. Okay, I think that's what I want to be doing. I don't need to Yagwell in the same turn. So a thing that I could do is I could balance. No, I need this balance to resolve. So the problem is... If I balance and they don't counter it, I can't get to this Narset, unfortunately, because I think I have to put Flusterstorm underneath. I, I mean, the problem is if balance does not resolve, then, then Narset's terrible. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about how I'm ordering this. I, my Mox Opal was going on top. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to Flusterstorm underneath it to be a hard cast negation. I think my opponent has hard cast negation. Uh, or do I want to put Narsa underneath it so I have a, a, a secondary play? I, I, I can't imagine that it's correct to put Narsa underneath it. I think this is my first line is the correct line. Now, we don't. we are not forced into playing this Yogwell, but... Um, I do want to play Opal so that my balance gets more cards out of their hand. Cast balance. Currently doesn't hit any of their lands. Hard cast negation. God, I'm so... I just have the fucking reads today. I just have the reads today. They just have, uh, unfortunate. All right, well, we've got Yogwill. So they just cast no draw. I mean, I guess they cast Gush and then just had double force. What's a guy going to do? Time walk. 
Oh, dig through time. Fantastic. I fucking hate this matchup. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this matchup so much. This matchup is so fucking terrible. Ah! I think we played this game pretty well, though. They didn't cast any preordains. Zero. Zero preordains. Yo. Absolutely true, Rachel. Thank you. Appreciate it. I bet they just hit time walk off this dig too, don't they? Just let me go. Just let me go. I don't want it. Hopefully they take like double pyro. Well, I can't beat double pyroblast either, actually. <laughs> um, everything is bad. I mean, we have a Yogwill. Oh, they finally cast a preordain chat. God bless. We can beat one. We're going Yogwill into Ancestral. Into Time Walk is the plan. Uh, am I dead? Oh, fuck off. Uh, there's no way I'm spinning in response to draw. Oh, uh, I guess I guess I could, but it doesn't really matter. I can't believe we just this is ridiculous. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, we got high rolled a little bit there. We even had the balance, which I thought was so good in that game. I don't know, whatever. Can't do anything about that. Um, They are on Lavinia. Oh, man, Jeskai, huh? Really? Actually like Swords and Balance in this matchup. Mystical is bad. Vamp is not terrible, but it's not great. One Opal down. We play Soul Guide Lanterns. Don't hate that either. Probably better than Vamp. Um, I don't think there's any reason to play around second Pyroblast. Uh, we could have waited on the Ancestral, but I think it doesn't really matter. All right, have a good flight, Amir. I think I'm going to do this. <sighs> that was a rough game. I, I don't, I mean, I think we played it pretty well, but it uh, just didn't work out. This hand's so bad. This is the problem with playing Source of Plash years against a fair deck. They're just going to cast four preordains and kill me. I have to mulligan this hand. And I have to mulligan this hand. I don't theoretically have to mulligan this hand, but it's not gonna go well. Definitely, I guess. It, I guess I wish this was a Mox Opal, huh? Hmm. I don't think I'm allowed to keep this hand though. It doesn't do it enough. Just mulligan again. I guess this is where we're at. Keep. Um. I don't think we're allowed to keep a force in this game here. I think we're just pitching Force and PO and trying to play from here. Oh, we're like 100. This, this matchup is horrible. It's quite, it's quite poor. Um, this is fine. Though Jeskai was on a huge downtick, so like Jeskai continually put up thirty <laughs> Christ. Uh Jeskai continually put up like thirty percent win rates and challenges. So 
I clearly was not expecting a chess guy play. Well, I mean, also, I do think my opponent has had incredible draws. Like, these are these are top, top tier chess guy draws. Maybe I'm supposed to spin into... I don't know. I don't really care. I just want to go to the next game. Cause I kind of want that. I kind of do want the the Soul Guide Lantern. Am I supposed to hold this? I don't think so. Dredge. Breach. Magic cards that are not Pyroblast. <laughs> Shattering spree. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. I just ah yes, fantastic. I do think I'm willing to protect my jet. I currently can't resolve a spell on their turn because of negation anyways. On my turn because of negation. Soon. Spin? Mm, probably not. In case I draw Moxon. It's probably still fine though. I can't actually just cast my PO anyways because of Narsa. I could knock PO on their turn for one. Don't think that's really worth it. Pretty sure I would rather. Maybe I should have spun in my upkeep because I'm not going to cast PO. I'm like pretty, pretty, pretty much playing fast and loose at this point, seeing as I just am having a hard time caring, which is a problem, I guess. We should probably try not to do that. Definitely tilted off the face of the earth, so we get to try to bring back the mental. Can't draw that until their turn because of Narset, fair and balanced magic card. Don't really want to cast this until they cast like a preordain. They're going to be attacking for one, then it's fine. I think I will just naturally draw the swords. The rest of their draw seems pretty anemic, so there's a chance. I think I will go for an end of turn swords on this. Well, let's 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 spin first. Let's not. I think GeoGuessr was part of the problem, though. I was pretty hyped up. All right. Towards this. Uh, this might be a little greedy. This, this misstep is probably slightly greedy, but I think it's fine. Sure. I mean, I, the reason it was greedy is because I didn't want to not have it for Pyroblast, but if you're going to Pyroblast my misstep, by all means, continue doing what you're doing. They went bottom, bottom. That's a decent sign. They have six cards in hand, though, like probably a bunch of Force of Wills. Okay, I can shuffle those two away. This is good. No reason not to spin first, though, just to look at the third card down. Yep, any order, crack. Probably should have gotten second white. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I don't think there's any need for a second white source. That's a very good draw. That is a very, very, very good draw. That is exactly what we want to see. Um, The problem is resolving it. 
and attacking this Narset. This is one of my best draws in my whole deck because it can attack Narset. Maybe if they play like a Dreadhorde Arcanist, that I can go Snap Sword. Now they have a. Why did? They... Why does my opponent's deck that plays three Moxen always draw more Moxen than me? I don't know how that happens. Okay, if they get a plus on me though, that would be reasonable for us. If they have a th another Pyroblast, we can't beat it. Plus on me, that's f whoa! I have to, I have to spin. I have to spin. I have to spin. Uh, I'm going to draw. Oh, I can't. I can't. Wait, wait. I have to. I have to draw now. I have to draw now because. Okay, so let me just think about this for a second. Uh, I am going to draw one card and discard two cards, but afterward, afterwards, I will not be able to draw another card this turn. So I have to activate my top, which is my draw for the turn, play my Snapcaster Mage, and then lose my PO. And I have to hope that they don't have Pyroblast or Lightning Bolt, which is, I think, asking for a lot, but... What's a guy going to do? This is my best chance of winning. <laughs> I just want to play magic, really. That would be great if you would just allow me to play magic. I hate this matchup so much. <laughs> uh, how do I win this game now? I don't. I don't. Oh, very tilted, but also like it doesn't matter that I'm tilted because I just it's not possible for me to beat these hands. So there's really like there's really just no game to be played at all. So it's not it's not really worth even thinking about. This deck is ridiculous. It's actually un unreal how good this deck is. <laughs> I feel like this deck is only good versus me. No, because I know what my other two cards are, notice me, Senpai. I know that my other two cards are Black Lotus and Mana Vault from previous spins. Sensei's top is actually my best draw in my top three. I can technically draw whatever. I don't care. Never mind. I actually don't give a shit. We'll just uh, play the next round. All right, chat. We we have uh, used GeoGuessr to come down from the tilt. We have come down from the tilt. We are now in a good spot mentally after our nice third place GeoGuessr run. We're playing against Loriwa. I, I don't know how I say that. Uh, very powerful wizard. Does very well in vintage tournaments, especially Sunday tournaments. Um, only plays Golos shops. So we're no, we know we're against a Golos stacks player. Um, I think many players would be tempted by this Hercules recall. Uh, but I think that the, the amount of mana in this hand is not sufficient. And there are no counter spells. So I'm going to ship this hand back. Um, yeah, you theoretically could play a Brainstorm hand, uh, but this hand is just not good against, uh, Golo stacks, which we know our opponent is on. I don't think I would ever keep this. If this was, a, a Mox that was not an Opal, I would keep this, I would snap keep this hand. But if opponent, uh, uh, think about it this way, chat. If opponent goes Workshop Sphere, we have to go Delta island opal and I, and then our hand does nothing right so you, you have to think about it like that uh, uh it, this this hand can't even beat a sphere so you have to mulligan it this hand is much better though i would obviously have liked to have fetch lands instead of underground seas but uh we're gonna keep this hand and we're gonna put the fluster somewhere away i'm gonna slow down and i'm gonna slow down See what opponent has for us here. Mana Crypt's a good one. Sphere. <laughs> Mana Crypt Workshop. Okay. Golos, probably. 
Lodestone, unfortunate. Not bad for us, though. We can definitely beat a Lodestone. Uh, we're going to go C, Emerald. I think we are going to cast Ancestral. We're basically hoping to hit blue card Moxen here so I can go Opal, uh, Moxen, Opal, and have Force of Will. We did not hit that, unfortunately. So we actually don't even have Force Up. That's unfortunate. Not the greatest uh, Ancestral. Though, if we were on the play, we would be very, very far ahead in this game. If we were on the play, I think we would have a very good shot. But now we're in some deep shit. See, what if opponent pulls up with a Golos, that would be good. Oh, this is going to name Emerald. That's bad. Now we cannot time walk. Uh, follow up by a four. Jeez, another three mana artifact. Six cards. This is a... Ah, yes, we died. All right, well, that was a really strong hand from my opponent. Uh, I mean, that was vintage. On the play, we probably win that game. We get to bring in Blightsteel, Caracas, Disenchant. Uh, I don't know about the swords. We'll think about the swords. Uh, Hercules Recalls. And then we're taking out... Uh, what are we taking out? We're taking out Flusterstorms. Mental Misstep, uh, Narset, Night's Whisper. Maybe we're not going to bring in the swords. Take out the balance and go like this. Oracles, Disenchant, Caracas, Blightsteel, a bunch of... Oh, we have Probe we can take out as well if we want to keep bring another swords in or a balance in. I typically don't like balance because we're the one who usually is stuck with cards in hand. I just don't know if we need swords. I guess we can have two swords. I think two swords is fine. We have seen revokers, so that's pretty reasonable. What are you saying? Why don't we bring in the card that doesn't make mana against the deck that doesn't play creatures? Like, I'm not really sure what you're trying to ask. I think you just don't want a taxing probe at all. It's a really bad top deck. I would rather have any of my other magic cards. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. My opponent played two of their 11 creatures or something. Maybe not very many more. Yes, I like to keep both in. You don't need to keep both in. You could, like, take out the Citadel and put in uh, Night's Whisper. But you always... Uh, the thing is, uh, I think having both targets is quite good, especially because you, a lot of the times, are going, like, end of turn Hercules Recall. And that in, the, and in cases like that, you want to actually put a Citadel instead of a Blightsteel. And you don't want to ever, like, draw your Blightsteel had to have no Tinker target um, in this kind of matchup. This matchup, Tinker is incredibly important. So... I like keeping both in. You don't have to keep both in. You could bring in just Blightsteel, but I think both is fine. My opponent has a Tabernacle in their main deck. So probably not a good matchup to bring in Tabernacle. Opponent is not on Ravager Shops, guys. This hand sucks. This hand also sucks. I mean, maybe we're just going to mulligan and not find anything and lose. <laughs> I guess. That would be some, some classic. Uh, mulligan. This hand. Oh. This hand sucks. I think I'm going to four. I 
if we had a fetch land or an island i don't think it's keepable no if we had a fetch land or an island we have legitimate chances of hitting tinker on turn two but good god do we not have those right now i think if we like play top and no this hand is just not good I think this hand's bad. I'm gonna go to four. <laughs> oh. uh, not like this. I think I'm going to three, I, I guess. Tin can't win a game, right? Like, what do I keep? Talarian, Mox, Urkel's land. That's so, it's just not keepable. At least we have Tinker and Ancestral in our deck. We should go to three, I guess. That's our best hand. Okay. This is like our best hand by a large amount. Keep. What do we do? Do we... We're definitely keeping land and soul ring and demonic. No. We're keeping land and mox and demonic and we're going for tinker and we're just trying to rip. Yep, that's the plan. We have to ha hope they have nothing. They kept a seven card hand. We're very dead, but whatever. Like, it is what it is. This Tinker is better than Ancestral. Tinker in this situation is better than Ancestral. True or false? True or false? True or false? True. All right, that's my plan. Cage or Soul Ring? Soul Ring. Load it. I mean, these are the seven card hands my opponents are keeping. I have no chance of ever winning. <laughs> I, I just have zero chance of ever winning. <laughs> my, my draws have just been shit. All right, I can draw Lotus and a Mana Crypt. Um, mana Vault, Soul Ring. Okay, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Soul Ring. Ghost Quarter doesn't matter. I have an Island in my deck. So actually, in this situation, Ancestral would have been better, but hard to say. I have outs. Mana Crypt is the best one. Of course, of course. Yeah, I, I still think I want Tinker, not Ancestral. I think that makes the most sense. I think it like allows me to win more games. There's so many bad Ancestral draws. I guess I have to hold F3 because if opponent plays Trinisphere, I have to force it. I think when you mold a three, you have to go for the Tinker off it. And I'm definitely glad I went with the Ruby line instead of the Soul Ring line. I think I played it correct. Just doesn't seem like... I mean, it's still a little... I have to get pretty lucky to get there, but... There are not very many relevant cards in my deck. I don't have a super long amount of time, but if my opponent's not going to play any spheres and I draw like lands and moxes, we have a chance.
Ah, another workshop hand. No play, though. No play, though. How can there be no play, though? Mind break traps? More lands? Kind of the only things it can be is mind break traps and more lands. Uh, mana crypt, please. Top, sure, I guess. Don't have very much time here. I'm at 11, three hits, plus whatever they play. Five mana, Golos? Maybe it is aggro shop. No, there's a ghost quarter, it is, it's Golos shops. I think this matchup's pretty reasonable for us, but we just didn't have the hands to do it. Oh, ah, ah. That's not good. No, we can spin. This is good. God, I love two basic islands. I wish I had three basic islands. <laughs> okay, this is our shot. I got a spin. Caracas Emerald Tinker, right? Blight Steel. Mold of three, baby. Ghost Quarter. <laughs> nice Ghost Quarter. We couldn't have done that without Ghost Quarter. If my opponent hadn't Ghost Quartered, we could not have done that. I, this might still like um uh, let's think let's think Karn Bridge maybe play to your outs uh I I did shuffle the deck so it's it kind of impossible to know hub yeah but no one plays your list show we can go look at Laura Wise list Laura Wise I don't I wish I knew how to say this name. They just always play Golo stacks. Mm, no bridges? No, there's one bridge. There is one bridge. Uh, they might have to Karn for it, though. Wait, this one has one Revoker, so it's a different list. Yes, Flight Steel is a better choice than Citadel there by a large amount, I think. Four Revokers, so this list. Still one bridge. Especially seeing as we didn't have a top lizard. We had to use our top to get our third mana. Well, they can play Golos. Uh, they, they can play... Oh, they have Karn Bridge. This game! Fuck! Pl please have boarded it in. Please have boarded it in. Please have boarded it in. Stone Coil Serpent. They boarded it in. They don't have it in their sideboard. They don't have it in their sideboard. Oh, wow. Um, wow, 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 wow. Uh, oh! Mold the three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. We would have beat a bridge there. We would we would have beat a bridge. If they had bridge in their board, we would have beat it. 
Wow. I'm actually going to bring in balance. I think I was wrong. Thank you, Ghost Quarter. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, my Lord. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, I didn't realize how many Phyrexian Revokers they were playing. Uh, what do I want to board out? I want to board out. I mean, I think our mulliganing was good. Use the power of the London Mall. Hmm. Another decent reason to have Citadel in if opponent has bridge. What do we want to take out, though? Snap. Top. Night's Whisper? Sure. Switcher sounds fine. Okay. All right. Game three on the draw. Golos Shops. How about a seven card hand? That's fantastic. Can we can we have one of those? I'd love it. I'd, you'd love to see it, really. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a mold of three. I do think that people may have taken like the wrong three card hand there with like Sol Ring. But I do think we were, but we also like very much lucked out that opponent had no wasteland, no sphere, no anything really. Ooh boy, I'd love I'd love to get a win here. I, I really do need a win here to continue for my top eight aspirants. So ooh, we got to keep growing. What do we got? Oh. Hmm, I think this is a keeper. I think this is a keeper. It's not a great hand versus Golo Shops. No, maybe we can mulligan this. I would snap keep this against Ravager Shops, but I think against Golo Shops, this has to go back. I think it has to go back. Yeah, this is this is in the range of keepable hands for the matchup. It abs it absolutely is in the range of keepable hands for the matchup, but I think it's a mulligan. Yeah, this is fine. We'll do this. I'm going to put back Yagwell. It's pretty bad. You don't have to do anything. That's kind of the point is that you really just want to hit your mana sources in this kind of matchup. How you doing, Twinless? How's your day going? We started 4-0, and then we hit the one Jeskai player and played two impossible games of Magic the Gathering. Um, so now, we I thought we were dead here, uh, but we mulled a three, and we got there in game two. So now we're in game three versus Golo Shops. Op 16 is standard, busted modern, okay. My opponent is looking at their, uh, they're looking at their five. Can't tell what they're looking at. I think they're looking at their six card hand. Yeah, I think they're looking at their six card hand and choosing whether to keep or not. Yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> You're 6 0, Brosader? Nice. Congrats. That's dope. Keep it up. I'm just salty because I'm always salty about Jeskai. I'm not salty about you in any way. Mostly just that fact that there are play people playing Jeskai. <laughs> keep, up, keep up the good work. 6 0 is great. You're not locked, but you should be in a good spot. My opponent has chosen, chosen, chosen to kept the to kept. Jesus. Okay. My 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 opponent has chosen to keep their six card hand. Hmm. 
Mole getting is incredibly important in Vintage. That's no joke. All right, let's see if we have another workshop hand or not. Let's see if we've got restricted cards. Let's see. They could also just be playing multiple matches of Magic Romulu. I'm sure Loraway is playing in Modern as well, I think. They play Pioneer, Vintage, and Modern. I I'm sure they're double queuing the Modern um, event. I think you can find that out in chat, but I don't know what the I don't know what the command is. Another workshop hand, okay. Three ball. No, just sphere. That's fine. Unfortunate. Can't fetch an uh, tundra here. Have to fetch an island. They're six and one in in the modern showcase as well. Jesus, what a powerful wizard. They're also playing, also playing a vintage league. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. So I'm gonna fetch a basic island here. Island of Ruby, Ruby to Sapphire, pass the turn. Giving me three mana on the next turn, but there is a resolved sphere. We don't have very much agency in this game, I can tell you that much. But, I mean, it was a keepable hand, kept the hand, gotta hope it works out. Not much we can do there. Uh, I think Swords of Plowshares is a shit draw. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for land drops, or more Moxen, or Force of Will, or Tinker. To be fair, if it was any of the cards we boarded out, those would all be worse than Swords of the Plashers, so. I guess, technically, Probe would be better. But. Caracas. <laughs> this game sucks so much. You got it, homie. All right, we got Hercules Recall as our best out. <laughs> it does nothing, guys. It does nothing. Trust me, nothing. It does actually nothing. I need Academy, and I also probably need Hercules. Or I could hit land drops into Hercules as well. This is not a lost game, but it's going to be a challenging game. I just kind of needed a Force of Will, is actually what I really needed. What we really kind of want to see, I think, at this point... Uh, yeah, you can... So here's the problems with playing a top here. Uh, you have to basically fetch an island if you play a top here. Uh, and I want to be able to fetch a tundra in case my opponent plays any creature. So I think you have to let it go and end of turn so I can f end of turn fetch a tundra and source of plowshares. Like if my opponent plays a golos, if my opponent plays a lodestone golem, well, I can't source of lodestone golem, but if my opponent plays a, a revoker or something, I think I have to swords it. So. Um, and it, another problem is if I fetch my other island, then, then the ghost quarters now are strip mines. So, yeah, so like this ends up working out really well for me. I do think I will swords the plowshares this though, and then play a sensei's top. But they also just like Narset. Interesting. I thought they were just blind name Lotus, but. Sure. 
Okay. It didn't get me everything I needed, but it does help. Wasteland, that's a really huge problem. Hopefully they don't have a creature follow-up. And they immediately have a creature follow-up. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. I have a force for the next thing they do. What do we got? That's fine. That one resolves. This is still a winnable game because my opponent's deck doesn't do anything. Underground C. Now that's an interesting question. Am I even supposed to play this Underground C? What does this Underground C me allow me to do? Unfortunately, this Mystical is not a Vampiric or else I could go get... Katami. I think I'm just keeping and just getting rid of Mystical Tutor. Uh, because they have an active wasteland. So we can't play the C yet. So I think we just have to wait for a fetch land or the basic island. I guess maybe pitching a top is better. Second null rod, don't care. Your deck doesn't do anything. I love when my Golos shops players just play a bunch of redundant cards that do nothing. Pearl. I don't think I'm allowed to play this Pearl because I need to hold open Force of Will. But I do want a pearl for after that Hercules recall and go for a PO. They've drawn no lands either, so that means they're continuing to draw redundantly bad uh, artifacts. Because they would have played a land if they had it, and they would have played a better card if they had it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm really glad I didn't have a Force of Will for the first Null Rod, because now all of their other Null Rods are blanked. Uh, still looking for a fetch land. Not a fetch land. I think I'm just going to pitch this pot, Swords of Plushers. Uh, okay. Black Lotus resolves. Okay. We'll go to the next turn. Uh, fetch land. Nope. Uh, so let's see. I have a Force of Will. I have a Hercules Recall. I need to keep this P.O. So I can pitch either Ponder or Repeal. I guess I'll just pitch the Repeal. Alright, we have another spell. Another Null Rod. Resolves. I think I'm winning this game. I think I- I think I'm currently favored to win this game. Unfortunate. Uh, now I have to pitch one of my Moxin. So I'm going to pitch... No, I have to keep the Ponder, because the Ponder is getting pitched to the Force of Will, the Hercule is bouncing their board, and the PO is winning me the game. So at this point, I have to keep... I have to discard the Soul Ring. Good try, chat, though. You were close. Okay, what do we have? They also can't, must, they must have a Golo so they can't cast, maybe? I don't know. A Mox Ruby resolves. Nice Mox Ruby resolves. Okay, we go to my turn. I'm just looking for a fetch land, basic island. Not a Hercules Recall. <laughs> Not a Hercules Recall. Uh, I'm just going to pitch this Ponder. <sighs> I just... All I'm waiting for is a fetch land. And then we can, we can do... We can do the thing. But we haven't found a fetch land. Uh-oh, they hit an Ancient Tomb, but they have no follow-up. Uh, they could definitely have Mind Break Trap as well. Yep, that, that is something they could have. We drew another force. Uh, just please, please. 
Help a guy out? Should have cast ponder. Really? Really? Really, chat? Should have cast ponder. Uh, stop. Think about why that's wrong. Fetch land. Fuck, man. Why don't I just cast all the spells in my hand? Uh, I mean, I, this game has been the same for like 10 turns. I've had to draw island or fetch land. I guess technically Talarian Academy would also do it. I mean, the minute opponent draws a card that does something, I'm in deep shit. So. Yep. Force. Itch Hercules recall. All right, this is my turn. Please, I need help. Help, help, help. <laughs> Guy, uh, yeah, I should have played a Mox in this turn, but I'm also. Active. Oh no. 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 Um, all right, hold on. So now I think I have to play my Opal too because. They ghost quarter me, I get my island. They ghost quarter me, I get nothing. So I have to draw to Larian Academy now. Oh, this, I mean, I had like 10 draws to draw a land. So <laughs> what, what's a guy going to do? Their whole deck is bricks. That's the that's the whole problem with playing Golo shops, is their deck doesn't do anything. That's why this deck is I don't I don't think this deck is very good. But it's gonna beat me, so I just needed to draw a fetch or an island and, and ten draws, and I didn't draw one, so. Yeah, I can draw Talarian. I have one in 34. I have one actual out in 34 cards. I mean, they just have to find a two, two, a two, one. I, I, they're not going to clock out, chat. Yep. The clock has been established. We have, we have one, we have one out in our entire deck. Though, our one out does probably win the game. Not 100% chance to win the game. This probably wins the game. Oh, well. I mean, I think this was just a little unlucky. But, so, not much to say.
<laughs> a benevolent bodyguard, eh? If we draw a Talarian Academy, we can cast Hercules Recall, target our opponent, and then cast Po for six. And Tinker or whatever. This is like a, just a super prime example of why you should not play Golo stacks. <laughs> I, I I have still not drawn that land, by the way. I think we beat Mindbreak Trap. I absolutely think we beat Mindbreak Trap. Ensnaring bridge. Yeah, why not? Hilarious. <sighs> Larian Academy. <laughs> uh, it's so sad. All right, I have one draw. Frustrating. I, I, the biggest problem is that entire game, all I needed was a fetch land for 10 turns. But there are just no lands in my top 40 cards. <laughs> I drew the academy before I drew a fetch land. What? Uh, <laughs> opponents like I got you. I have four null rods and I'm sitting here like, yeah, I draw a fetch land, I win. Did I make a mistake getting the tundra off the first fetch? It's hard to say. I don't think so. Because the problem is if I get a if I get my second island off the first fetch, uh then his ghost quarters turn into strip mine. And they had a ghost quarter. Well, maybe they didn't have a ghost quarter till later. I don't know. I, I got basic island off the first fetch. I got so I got Tundra off the second to play Swords of Plowshares. Though I would have died, would I have died to Revoker before I got to Hercules and try to win? Maybe not. Maybe I maybe I would have won the game if I had gotten Basic Island off of the second fetch. But I think that's a pretty hard call to make. I don't think I can make that call, but it's definitely the only decision in this game that mattered. So yeah, that was shit. <laughs> okay, here we are, round seven, Vintage Showcase. Two more rounds to go. We unfortunately took another loss last round, so we're pretty much dead. But we got to play it out, see what happens, and then do data collection at the end. So playing against X-Whale. Not sure what X-Whale's on. Maybe Breach, but no Luris. So maybe not Breach. Let's do some mulliganing. Mm, nope, that one doesn't do it. Uh, this one's fine. Keep. Uh, the question becomes, which two cards are we putting back? PO for sure. And then... I kind of like the idea of putting back Force. Is that insanity? Is that insanity? I think if I put back 
force, I can just go Night's Whisper on turn one, and I'm in better shape. Hmm. That's a tough choice. I can just put back Night's Whisper and hope to draw mana, and then I have Force of Will plus Tinker. Hmm. Maybe that's better. I don't actually know if this is the correct choice, by the way. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Bug? Rug? Maybe rug. I don't think I'm jamming Tinker here, though. I can say that much. Definitely wish I had a Night's Whisper. Oh, it's Bant. Okay. Hmm. What do we vamp for here? Is there something that's going to get this through? Might just be Ancestral, and then Ancestral on their turn at some point. Then we can get Wastelanded, though. If they Queller this, that's fine. Hmm... The big problem here is my mana. The best I can do is tinker with force backup. It's just the best I can do. I can tinker with force and daze protection by going mana crypt. Is that true? Can I do fluster storm protection? Flusterstorm protection is Black Lotus. But Flusterstorm doesn't get protection if they have two counter spells. I basically am betting my whole game if I go Black Lotus because I will be left with nothing. I don't think Mentor is a good choice because if they run it, I think they might have a spell color or a negation. No good. I think I'm down to all in on uh, the problem. Maybe I'll be going for Ancestral. Maybe the Ancestral is just the best line. The, the problem with Ancestral is Wasteland, but I think that's okay. I think the only two lines I like there are Ancestral or Black Lotus. No Wasteland. Hard cast Force Mana. Uh, I think I'm just going to cast an Ancestral at the end of turn and see what happens. And then we'll try to draw a blue card. See what they have here. Looks like Spell Queller. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Hold Breacher. Kind of insane. I can't beat Fluster. That's the problem here is I can't beat Fluster. I think I'm supposed to force this and see if I can get a Fluster. I got a force. Pitching force. They have one card left. This could be a win. 
see what they've got as their last card. They had Force, Force, Hull Breacher. I've got a Bolus of Citadel. I've got a Time Walk. I've got Hercules Recall. Oh, I guess we should resolve Time Walk first. I'm going to bounce all your treasures. Uh, am I going to draw this Force of Will? Yeah. Fine. Draw Force. Uh, ah, it's so shit. Uh, it's so shit. I'm going to take four life to give my opponent two treasures. Or I can just take three life. I should just take three life or four life. I guess it's the same, except I'm giving my opponent treasures. Fuck, man. This whole breacher is kicking my ass. It's not as good as a spell queller would have been right there. Oh, well, actually, it's better than a spell queller. Okay, I'm taking five damage. I don't think I was ever going to force that. All right, maybe I lose here. If I find a Swords of Plowshares or a Balance, we win. That's a good one. That one is fine. Uh, that's so bad. Um, No, I think this wins it, right? So I cast a Yogwill. Oh, I don't have enough life. Oh, I'm one life short of swordsing the stupid hole breacher. Ha. Ah, I think I'm still doing it. Yogwill gets me pearl time walk. Fetching away the other two cards. I could just shuffle. It's a hard choice. Cast, Pearl, Time Walk, Land. So the problem, chat, is Yogwill costs three life. Vampiric Tutor costs two life, and I am at five life. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I have to fetch away my other two cards that are on the top of my library. I don't know. I don't know if this is better than shuffling. Maybe. Maybe it's better than shuffling. Let's try. I think it is. I shuffled into a pawn. <laughs> a P.O. I get another ponder. Shuffle. I shuffled into a PO again. Did it not actually shuffle? Oh. Uh, so now I have no outs, right? I mean, it doesn't stop the shuffle effect. This doesn't stop the shuffle effect, right? Well, we'll know. We won't know for no. If uh, I think I'm out of out. Oh, I can tinker. I can tinker. I can tinker. I can tinker. I need my top of the library to be balance or swords to plowshares. Uh, I have to time walk, so I have to get mana here. So the best thing to get 
is can't do top. I can't do top because I tapped. Uh, yeah, yeah. Top top is bad. Top is bad. Oh, I could go circles. That's not good. It's just black lotus. Maybe could be soul ring. Might be soul ring. Emerald. Uh, okay. That at least gives me outs. No, it doesn't because I won't be able to. Well, yeah, I can. I can draw this next turn and bounce that. Okay, we have outs. We have outs. We have outs. Though we have no cards. We have no life left. We have no life left though. Mm. Well, we can draw into. What can we draw into? I'm not sure. Not that. They can just replay that, and I can't. I can't. I can't deal with it. So it doesn't actually help. They have six though. They have six though. Oh my god, they have six though. Oh no, they stopped F sixing. Now I have hard cast force. I don't know if we still win this game. Oh, I do have enough. Do I have enough? I'm one mana short. Oh, I'm one mana short. I'm one mana short. Oh, I'm one mana short. If I had bounced my Lotus, maybe. <laughs> can I mystical and fail to find maybe? Maybe that's a play we can make. Let's try that mystical and fail to find. I guess that's my only line, right? And then I have to hit Mana Crypt. Or like multiple Moxin. <laughs> what a stupid game. <laughs> uh... Oh, damn. Nice, bro, Sader. Happy for you. Losing that game is so sad. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have made... Uh... No, they just have to not play Pio. Oh, they have to. They have to not play Hole Breacher. The problem is, I still wouldn't have uh, swords. The mana to place. I guess if I left a planes, maybe it's possible. Yeah, I mean, that that might have been a better line than casting Pio and hoping they don't. What's it called? It's possible. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, Caracas, Deluge, Swords. Uh, Harkles out. Narset out. I don't usually like to bring in Blightsteel. They play Swords. They play Oko. It's not very good. I mean, both of those lines are hoping my opponent misplays, so I don't really think either one is, like, super larger than the other, so. My opponent should never recast Hole Breacher at end of turn. I guess maybe that mistake is more likely than them not casting Hole Breacher in response to PO. 
but I don't think it's by much. The question here becomes, do we want a fluster storm number three? I really don't want a fluster storm number three. Maybe it's fine, but none of my cards are bad here. So I'm just going to keep a submit here. I don't think this matchup is that bad. We had our opponent beat pretty well, but it, we just, I think if, I, I, I honest to God think that if we had, I, I think our Bola Citadel RNG was kind of bad there. Uh, Cause I think if we had ever hit a tutor, we would have just gotten Swords of Plowshares or Balance and won the game on the spot. So I, I think we got a little unlucky there, but it happens. Kind of been our, our forte today. Ah, uh, this hand sucks. I don't like this hand at all. Put a mulligan in it. Doesn't do anything. Uh, this one at least does things. Yeah, keep. Bottom. Done. Uh, run straight into Force of Vigor, I think. Don't think I'm supposed to play around Force of Vigor. I guess I can hold this Crypt and then go for a Tinker, so that works. Force of Vigor possibility is a reason to bring in Blightsteel. I just have not had Blightsteel giving me much success against this Bant deck, so... I think Citadel is typically a little stronger. A problem here is that I can't beat a force. They did shuffle. Maybe they just don't have a force. Yeah, all of the, some of their creatures are super scary. That is a true statement. Uh, I actually think I'm going to get an island over an underground sea, although I can't cast my Deluge because I think Wasteland is more important. No, top eight, it does not influence your top eight player draw, unfortunately. Um, I could technically go Ancestral, uh, but I think Tinker is just the way to be. And I'm going to just Tinker off this Mana Crypt here. And hope my opponent does not have a Force. Ready, set, Force check. As a Force. All right, this game's going to be tough. Uh, I both need to draw a, a black source and... Uh, oh, God, is it Lavinia? That's oh, a time walk, sure. Um, yeah, it's going to be a hard game. Yep, Archon. I do think that fetching this island is still correct. Okay, that comes in tapped because Archon's a reasonable magic card. Definitely doesn't have too much text on it. <laughs> yeah, what's this? End of turn, hardcast vigor. It's pretty good. Oh, dig through time. That's pretty good too. Yeah, I think we're gonna go four O into O O four. That's how I'm, that's kind of how I'm feeling now. Yeah, for sure. But I, I mean, other our other lines are not good. Our deck is very much, you know, like we kept this hand knowing that we were just going to try to mystical tutor for a tinker, and then we had a backdoor out to their creatures with tax deluge. So, yeah. I'm going to take the 44 percenter pretty much every time. Oh, we got wastelanded. Yikes. Uh, I'm not going to PO on my turn. I'm going to PO on their turn if they cast a spell. Wonderful. Maybe I'm supposed to force this. Am I supposed to force this? I think I am. We'd be too far away from Deluge. Oh, I'm gonna force it. It's uncounterable because each player can't cast more than one spell per turn. 
kind of need to hit Ruby or oh, oh interesting. Uh, once again, I think I'm not going to cast this on my turn. I'd like to cast it after they've cast a spell, which makes it uncounterable. They might have hard cast force here. Okay, they're casting a spell. Beautiful. Resolves. This is good for us. We really need to find the black source on this turn. So either an underground sea or an opal. They're going to turn this into an elk. Sure. do anything just uh, no dice here another wasteland wow quite bad for me quite bad for me pretty sure I need to run this academy into a wasteland I can force their Pearl and kill their Oko. Or I can just repeal. Oh, what? Okay, they went for food. Sure. That works too. Yeah, that was fine. Cage, don't care. All right, we can kill their Oko next turn. Jeez. I really needed to draw a black source. <laughs> All right, so whatever they turn into an elk, we can just repeal. We are running out of time. We are running out of time to find something that lets me deluge this Arcana way. Maybe we just draw Swords of Plowshares. That would be pretty good. I do have two of those in my deck, specifically for decks like this. I think that Bant deck is quite bad. Uh, it's mostly because people in Vintage just don't play removal. If you just play enough removal, you can kill their things. Unfortunately, I have not drawn any of that. I've drawn one of the removal spells that I played because of Bant. Interesting. Is that fast enough? I highly doubt it. But it might be. New plan. It's quite good if you Lotus and Archon on turn one, but I think any deck is quite good if you Lotus and Archon on turn one. So in that case, you could even say White Eldrazi is good. Uh, so I'm going to force this because one life doesn't change the clock, but I get a Mentor token. Uh, we might win this game. It's close. It's very, very close. This game might be won because my opponent's deck doesn't do anything. We'll find out. Yagwo, it's turned off. Just can't really count. All right, I think I'm going to need some spell. <laughs> That's not game, friend. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Three, six, eight. You go to nine. And then I have to draw a spell. I did not draw a spell. But I get one more. I guess that probably works. But it's probably close. Why did I pour out a merchant scroll? Who let me do that? What the fuck? Chat, where is my chat advantage? Who is letting me board out Merchant Scroll? God. <laughs> where is my chat? Oh boy. I think I'm gonna take out Probe. All right, thanks, chat. 
All right, we get to go to game three. I didn't think we were winning that game at any point. In fact, I, I do not think we were supposed to win that game. But I'll take it. We'll take those. Not bad. I think Snap is good. Snap blocks Collector Roof. Uh, Yagwell is a little worse. But I think Probe is just shit, so... I mean, yeah, you can't just, like, my whole deck loses to Archon. You can't just, like, be boarding out cards on the fact that they lose to Archon. Uh, I think I like two flusters in this matchup. I don't want three, but I think two is fine. It's my best way of protecting my spells from forces. Uh, I should have played around days. Oh, well, I got dazed. Uh, I'm playing really loose now. Uh, uh, that was really, really bad. I kind of wanted that card, but oh, well. <laughs> uh, Justin. <sighs> Look, I'm reading chat, and I'm just, like, not paying attention at all. Can I get an exclamation mark F6 in chat, please? Okay, well, I'm kind of glad we didn't have a daze at this point. Let's see what's in our thing. Oh. We're going to get fucking oof Flusterstorm back up and lose this game. Motherfucker. All right, we're dead. We're, we're dead. We're very dead. Mm, very, very dead. Oh boy, they're gonna fluster storm my force of will, and we are gonna die. Oh, they didn't fluster storm my force chat. God bless. What a nice opponent. All right, we get to play demonic tutor then. Very nice. I'm gonna go get an ancestral recall. Uh, I think that's the best by far. We get a mentor. I think ancestral recall is just where we want to be. Cast ancestral. Target myself. Beautiful, fantastic, GG, easy. All right, we'll probably win this game. Never mind. Never mind. I was doom and gloom. I was doom and gloom, but it, it looks okay. I thought for sure they had fluster there. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny. Too funny. We have a lot of answers to their cards now. Do I want to spin? I do want to spin. Let's spin. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I do think I just want more of these. That card seems good in this matchup. Here go, opponent. I mean, I don't know if I can lose with this. Like, my opponent's deck, I guess I could lose to an Oko. An Oko would beat me. Oh, they have Hardcast Force? Okay, they have Hardcast Force. That's the only reason you would know attack there. Uh, Vampiric Tutor. Do we want to draw Vampiric Tutor? Yeah, probably. So they have Hardcast Force, so we definitely can't do that now. Hmm, maybe I played that poorly. Interesting. I need to be able to protect my mentor is the problem. We should spin instead. Mental misstep. Mystical tutor. Soul ring. These cards suck. All right. I'm going to go for end of turn vampiric on their turn. I'm not going to let them hard cast force on my turn. That would be bad. All right, will you counter my shuffle effect? No? No. I'm not sorging a Noble Hierarch that's not doing anything. I can sorge it now uh, so that I can resolve my, my mentor later. Uh, but we have to just make sure that that's what we want to do. So Cage is ruling out Tinker and Yogwill. Uh, and Citadel. So all we have left is PO and Monastery Mentor. So I'm going to put Monastery Mentor. Uh, and I'm going to Swords this Noble Hierarch. Ancestral 
Ancestral in response. Yikes. Wish we had that mental misstep still. I had a mental misstep on top of my library. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, you got you got it. It's a good one from the opponent for sure. For sure. Strong play. Oh, I should have activated this top in my upkeep. Man, why am I playing so badly? Oh, well. I have a mentor. I absolutely should have upkeep activated top. I mean, if they have a force, they have a force. We might lose this game. How many repeals do I have left in my deck? Hmm. Could be tough. Could be hard. Force, but we can't pay for it. Fantastic. I think balance as a discard three is not a very strong play. When I need to be able to kill their creatures. End of turn, Hull Breacher, sure. I'm letting that one resolve in case they can play another creature on this turn and I can balance that away. Uh, Archon, yep, this is the whole play. This is the play and I have nothing but the play. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose this jet, but it do be like that sometimes. deck I have a repeal it's pretty good I feel like there's some way I can set that up if I need to I do have to play faster because all my win conditions are gone Oko Archon sure Swords, the Archon. I should have done that at end of turn, but I'm trying to play fast. Uh, look. Spin. Merchant Scroll. What is left in my deck to Merchant Scroll for, though? Eo. I hope they didn't draw something I need to counter. That would be really bad for me. So what if I draw, I feel like there's a way I can do this that is better, but I, I don't know what it is. So if I make a blue, activate this, or put it on the top, uh, activate, activate this and then activate it. I can't remember which the order is. I have to play faster though. Uh, I think I actually just want this top. I think my P my uh, my merchant scroll only gets me uh, PO, which is not bad, but I don't actually have the mana to pay for it. Oh, Yogwill, unfortunate. If I had repealed the cage, maybe. Well, let's think about this. I can add this merchant scroll. Uh Maybe I hold the Merchant Scroll and then do a Yogwill. Oh, sorry. Hold the Merchant Scroll, do a PO. There's one more repeal in my deck. Uh, nope. Their PO plan is dead. Uh, hmm. How do I win this game? There's a PO right there. Not sure how we're winning this game, actually. I'm out of removal spells. I think we lost because we just didn't draw enough action in time. Maybe I'm supposed to bring in Disenchant for Cage. Didn't really feel like I was supposed to. I can uh, get a PO. Oh, oh, hold on. I fucked this up. I can get a repeal.
I'm mana short, aren't I? Oh well. Uh, if I draw a mana, I have to wait. And now I'm going to die to an elk. Unless they stand up. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, I played pretty bad there at the end. I think I had that if I hadn't spun an extra time by accident. Uh, but I fucked up, so we're dead. Yeah, that's really sad. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know what's happening. I don't think I have any outs anymore, though. Unfortunately, I just don't have any way to remove this cage. I think if I had played this game better, we would won. We would have won. But I think I played like shit. Uh, yeah, I think I didn't have enough time to make the correct decision, but we definitely could have won that game. If my opponent, ah, uh, I needed my opponent to brick on the turn that I had the repeal and then... Um... Um, so if I had, if I had, um, drawn, yeah, if I had naturally drawn the force of will instead of the repeal, I could have hard cast the force on the Oko. Did I have five mana to hard cast the force on the Oko? I don't think I did, right? I did? Hmm. I had to discard Mox Jet because my opponent played an Archon. If I play my Mox Jet, I can no longer play Balance. I think there was like about a billion ways we should have played that better. But I didn't, so. All right, chat. It's round eight. Vintage Showcase. We're dead, but we're here versing Mac. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is a reasonable keep. I will elect to keep. Now, what, wh where do we go from here? What do we do from here? That's a good question. I don't know. I could play a turn one mentor. But that seems like a waste of my demonic tutor. Maybe I'm supposed to demonic for force. It doesn't seem unreasonable. Mac mold to five. Do they normally play bizarre though? Hmm. Could just hold the demonic. My instinct is telling me I'm supposed to go for force. But I could also go for tinker. Which I don't hate either. Can go Bentor on the first turn, Tinker on the second turn if it doesn't work out. I don't like that. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, they just forced my demonic tutor pitching Narcomy. But all right, I was given zero choices. I understand. I'm going to probably lose now. <laughs> my opponent is going to tap a Bazaar of Baghdad and probably race my mentor. All right, that's fine. If they're going to counter my demonic, that is fine. I do think that the, uh, the Tinker line would have worked out pretty well, though. Mana Crypt, sure. I'm definitely going to just jam this Mentor, jam a Mana Crypt. Ooh, it is a Dakmore Salvage Blood Gas build. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, yeah, Mentor. You don't have a second force. You have a second force? I hate Dredge. All right, fair, fair, fair's fair. 
You only have a dredge two. Okay, hit a narc amoeba on your dredge two. Fair. You can play the blood ghast if you dredge the salvage back up. Okay. So they dredge the salvage back up. Get back a blood ghast. Okay, I, this is a winnable game. This is a winnable game. Yep, dredge a salvage. Uh, hit a stink with imp. That's not good for the home team. Play a salvage. Get back blood ghast. We have a we have the window is open. Uh, the coast is clear. Show me. Po was one of the things I was gonna say. Show me too. Yeah, that is true. Uh, let's first repeal on my mana crypt. Interesting. I was hoping for a unmoxin, but this is fine. Go in. Okay. The game is over. GG opponent. Thank you for playing. Nice double force of will. Now it's my turn to play dredge. All right. How do we play this? Um... What do we want to do? What do we want to do? We have four mana. We have a repeal, which is plus one mana. We, what do we actually, do we actually win this game? Hmm. I didn't think about it this way. Maybe we don't win this game. Maybe we can't mentor time walk, right? Oh, we can, t we can if we repeal. Is Mentor Time Walk good enough, though? Maybe we should just Demonic for Tinker. I don't have enough color sources to do that right now. Hmm. I didn't think this through. I, could, I do have enough color sources. I could... I could Demonic for Time Walk is maybe a better choice. That would probably work. Um, so I currently have three colors, so we can, at the very least, we can repeal. Uh, we might want to... Hmm. It's free, so I think we should... Didn't I have a land? All right, I think I'm going to do that. I don't know if it's the best line. Because we will... Wait, wait, we can't play our mentor again. How are we going to win? I think we have to go mentor time walk. Because we won't, we won't have a Yogwell. And we won't have a mentor. So I actually don't think we can win if we don't get our mentor back. Maybe I have to go mentor demonic for Tinker. That's kind of weird, but I think that's actually true. I wish I had played mentor first. I think to mentor time walk is probably not good enough. Hmm. I don't know if I played this wrong or I missed something very important. Did I miss something important there, chat? Did I play that really poorly? I don't know what I just... What... I'm really confused on if I did something stupid there. But I felt like I had to get back the mentor because I don't know if we can win without the mentor. I think we're fine. Want to flip?
I probably should have used the Ruby instead of the Crypt. The Crypt is better with Pio. I don't actually have 20 permanents to sacrifice with people. I don't think I, I don't think I actually have 20 permanents. When, when you don't have Yogwo and you don't have Mentor, I don't think I can make enough permanents. I think I played that correct. I think that was fine. Does anyone have a better line out of curiosity? If anyone wants to look at that pile in the yard and see if there's a better line, please let me know. I'm actually very curious. I'm sure Chalky, yeah, yeah, I'm sure Chalky's got a, <laughs> Chalky always has a better line. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, <laughs> Chalky will come back with the YouTube comment on the better line for that pile, without a doubt. I, I have no doubt. Thank you for the, the three-month prime. I appreciate that. You're a powerful wizard. Uh, thank you for the support, man. Whew. I don't like forces in this matchup. I think Fluster is fine, though. Repeal's also not great, but none of these other cards are insane. Uh, I do think balance and having a swords is fine. Uh, I think this is what I'm going to go with. I'm not sure if this is the 100% correct board plan, but I do like the idea. Oh. That was a weird game. We got our demonic and our mentor forced, but we still were able to pull through versus dredge. Kind of crazy. They did, they did have no solid dredger on their opener, so that did help. This hand is garbage. Not even close. No chance. No chance. No way. I won't say you no, no. You won't give in. Rip, you're in love. Too cliche. I won't say I'm in love. Now we're a cane stream. La, la, la. No dredge hate. I think I'm going to put this back. I feel so good when you start. I had a scream and get a grip. Uh -huh. You're dying to cry your heart out. Doo -doo -doo. Sounds pretty reasonable. It's not the best thing that's ever happened. Bloodgast, Bloodgast, Icarid, Hollow One, Chalice. All right, get that repeal back in my deck. Oh, they're all in my deck. I think I'm gonna bring in that disenchant then. No chance, no way. Say no, no. I think I'm supposed to hit the blood gas, not the Icarid, right? Kind of feels like it. They have force too. Bro. Yo, thanks, David. Appreciate that. Yo, I just want to play some magic. Okay, ditch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discard your hand. I like that. I like that. Any... Oh, they did hit an imp. They hit, they hit an imp. They hit an imp. That was rough. We did not want them to hit an imp there. <sighs> unfortunate, unfortunate. Nice. Congrats, Slater. It's a good run. 
pp imp says nothing hit another imp that is bad that is bad as well that is bad as well this is not a lost game yet uh but there are problems so what we need to do is repeal this chalice in its response to this bizarre activation repeal your chalice Drawing a land or a moxin, and then mystical tutoring for a tinker. Thank you. That is not a land or a moxin. <sighs> All right. Does not look like this game is coming anywhere close to a. Uh, uh, yeah. We're going to. Can we win this game? No. This game is over. All right. Game three. It was not a bad mold of five. I think this disenchant is going to be better than this balance. Or no, this disenchant is better than this swords. Yes. Because the disenchant can hit hollow one, but it also can hit chalice. That sounds very lucky, Rodrigo. <laughs> Seems like a big win. Yes. The wheels on the bus fell all the way off, all the way off, all the way off. All right, game three, chat. Last game of vintage for the day, though we might play more GeoGuessr after, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> and then I got to do uh, data collection at the end of this tournament. Geeky Jackson. With the two-year resub... That is some powerful wizardry. Can I get some iMac POs in chat for the two year Geeky Jackson resub? <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Is this a keep? Is this a keep? PO two on their turn or Wait for Fluster. Hmm. Man, I don't know. This is so close. Beats a Force of Vigor pretty well. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I don't know if this is actually a keep chat. Don't know. All right. They kept a seven. I think we lost. <laughs> How do I beat a seven card hand? Uh, I definitely don't think it's correct to PO into anything there. I do think I'm going to PO end of turn though. Maybe I'm supposed to PO upkeep. A little hard to say. It would be pretty bad if they played Unmask to do so. La la la. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This seems bad. I think I wanted to mulligan this hand. I think I'm just going to wait. Interesting. I think that means I'm supposed to ponder... Unfortunately, it makes my my waiting look kind of silly. Tormon's Crypt, Yogwill, Gataxian Probe. Wow. Yeah, that's what I want. I want that. 
The problem here is I have this fetch land that I played pre... Man, I, I think I was supposed to play this fetch land so that I could hold open Fluster and be able to fetch away cards. But it makes me look pretty silly. I guess I'm going to go Probe, Crypt, Yogwell, and we're just going to have to hope we don't get rid of this Yogwell. They have nothing. Oh, they have Vigor. They have Vigor. Okay. They have Vigor is what they have. Uh, so what we can do here is play a Crypt and bait a Vigor activation. I guess, I guess we'll just Flusterstorm Vigor, actually. That's even better. We lose our Yogwill, but I think that is okay. Uh, because we have to get to hold... Well, maybe we just, uh, I don't think we want to P.O. back the Crypt. Maybe we just let the Yog the the force happen. Like we 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 crip them, and we let the mana crypt go, and then we just Yog will it back on the next turn. That kind of feels like the best line, doesn't it? I think so. I think that's the best line. I think that is the best line. This fetch land was really annoying. If I had played this Tundra, we would be in great shape because I could do anything I ever wanted. Uh, but we can't. Yeah, so I think this is pretty easy. I think this is what we want to do. I think we just want to hit their graveyard with this. Let this crypt die, and then don't ever fetch and go for a a, a yog will on our next turn here. They have no dredgers to put in their yard right now. Let's see if their bizarre Baghdad finds them any dredgers. Though, if they find a land, they will be able to go blood gas to prize amalgam back, and I, I would be sad about that. But I don't think I'm supposed to play around that. They did find a Dakmore salvage. Jeez. All right, well, we got punished super hard for the line that we took. Wow, wow, we got punished so hard for the line we took. That's insane. Did we, I mean, yeah, so the, the, other, the other line was just Flusterstorm it. Man, we got punished so hard, though. Hmm. All right, now we just have to play PO game plan instead, which is fine. I think we should still win off the PO game plan. It just feels a little sad. Ruby into Delta. I think we want that. We don't have a blue, um, we don't have a blue Moxin yet, which is something worth noting. They can't bring back an Icker at this turn, though, so that's good. Take nine, take. 12 go to take five go to nine take crypt go to six but then we po'd at least twice should be good what a weird game wasteland interesting sure i think we just fetch away the night's whisper i don't think we want to draw that Won the flip. That's always good. Five. Well, maybe we don't want to fetch. Yeah. I think we just fetch away the Night's Whisper and start POing. All right.
Uh, yeah, okay. Let's try again. Uh, Night's Whisper here? I think so. Balance. Interesting. We can balance. Oh, we don't have a white mana. We cannot balance. That's not good. Guess we're POing. Uh, now we have a white mana. We also have snap PO, but we, we have two, two blue sources. We do have two blue sources. So I think we're good now because we have snap PO. We have two blue sources on every one now, right? Yeah, this should just be lethal then. I think this is deterministic now. Let's check. Yeah, we should be deterministic here. Uh, PO, I can even play this thing. PO, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's PO again. Okay, 12 cards left in library, 11, 11 cards left in library. I mean, 8 0 already gets you what you need. So you're good. You're gonna, you'll, you'll be in the, uh, in the showcase, which is great. So congratulations. I mean, obviously you want to win this event as well, but all right, we have not drawn the mentor or the time walk or the DT. And there are 11 cards left in our deck currently. All right, there's the mentor. Is the time walk still in our deck? It is. I think the mentor alone should probably win the game. I guess we could get, we can't really get creeping chilled with the uh the number of things that we have. So that that should just win the game, I think. Uh sure, I can explain it after. Then just let me just remind me to do so and I will I will help explain what's going on.
Oh, I can vamp for a time walk. I might be having fun with my opponent right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, let's go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, too funny, too funny, too funny. Double kill. <laughs> uh, I love PO, man. All right. So not a bad showing. Not a bad showing overall. Uh, I definitely feel that I should have played last round better. I think we could have gone maybe 6-2 in this event. Um, but I do think that round five was, was pretty much impossible for us to win. Um Senpai was too strong. <laughs> and then the Golos matchup was really, really unfortunate. We we had 10 turns, I guess, to draw the blue land or the fetch land, and we did not get there. Uh, which, it, it, it happens. It's magic. Uh, you got to move on and live with it. Um, so, yeah. Now, overall, though, Esper PO looked pretty reasonable. We lost exactly to the matchups we thought we would lose to. Uh, we beat a couple pretty hard matchups. Uh, including the the PO breach combo deck with pyroblasts and bug and I think we played pretty well overall. Like there were definitely some missteps along the way, but in general, I was pretty happy with this tournament and it went pretty well. So I can't be super sad about it. Um, and yeah, that's that's going to be the end of this event. Um, if you're watching this live or in chat. Uh, just want to let you guys know that next weekend I will not be streaming a Vintage Challenge as I will be playing in the 2020 Season 2 Magic Online Championship Showcase, Champions Showcase, uh, which is going to be a split format, modern and vintage cube, 75k, 8 player only, tournament hosted on Magic's, um, uh, what is it called? Official channel. Uh, LSV is going to be casting, a bunch of very powerful wizards are going to be casting. I'm going to be playing with some people who are much better than me. Um, so if you are interested in that, I really would hope you would come support me on the main magic channel next weekend on Saturday. So, uh, yes, let